Now well, today we're going to be looking at another 1960s space figure toy and this time it's Major Matt Mason. Um, I remember Matt Mason from when I was a kid. I had quite a few of these. I had the space station. Um, all came from a jumble sale. So Matt Mason uh, was a sort of offshoot of the Apollo space program much like Johnny Apollo who uh, we covered in a previous video uh, and he was a more traditional uh, figure in that he's jointed uh, solid plastic um, with Matt Mason stay there with with Matt Mason they decided to instead go with a uh, a rubber figure so basically he's a, a solid molded rubber body with all the detail on um, and then he has wire going through his body so you can you can pose him um, you can bend his arm and he's got these really nice sort of uh, concertina joints his, his space outfit is very much like the ones in uh, um, sort of the late 1960s space films it reminds me of um, Moon Zero 2 if anyone remembers that terrible old hammer film um, and he came in various guises so there was a Major Matt Mason which was the he was the leader and then there was a one in red that was Sergeant someone Stone someone like that um, as kids I don't know whether in the UK we only ever got Matt himself but I remember as a kid only ever having these white ones and they all had the same face so again whether they uh, that was just the figure that was readily available whether we got the whole range but uh, we, he also had tons of accessories so there was like a I'll, if I can get pictures I'll show you but there was a big space station and we used to have that um, there was like this weird uh, crawling machine with spoked legs on it looked like the thing from space 1999 the ship that wanders across the surface of the moon and you could fit him in and it'd go along in it um, loads of accessories. I've actually still got one accessory, which was like a jetpack thing, uh, but the belt's missing. But we'll see if we can do something with that uh, to make him fly. Um, but a big problem with this figure, because it's a wire armature, um, if you uh, used him too much, moved him too many times, the wire broke. So most of these figures now have broken arms and legs, so they just stand there in one pose. Um, this one seems pretty good. Uh, I picked this one up on eBay. Um, and I think the reason he was so cheap on eBay is because he is filthy. He is a dirty little man. Um, the paint apps on it are like latex. So they do tend to also peel up really easily. Um, this one's got his space helmet and visor. These used to crack all the time. And then the space helmet comes off and there's just a rubber seal which just clips on the rubber um, and as you can see some of the white paints come off in there so I might try and touch it up just mix some latex if, I, if my liquid latex is still liquid with some white paint um, and then you also got a head that rotates that's the only real joint on the entire figure so he comes with his little American flag Really nice sculpting actually to show material. Uh, a couple of pockets. Um, I remember he had dots on his legs, they've obviously come off. Um, and then you got various backpacks to add on. The helmet was really good. Nicely moulded helmet. Would that fit? No. Too small. I might have to try and 3D print a helmet for this fellow. See if I can do it in um, 360. If I do, I'll do a video on it. Um, he's much smaller than Johnny Apollo. Um, he's about little big man size or maddle man size. Um, when I was younger and had a load of toys, I just thought he was like little big man. He used to have the same adventures with him. But he was his own thing. Um, in America, the I think the Matt Mason line also had the uh, Captain Laser which was the basis for uh, the Battlestar him the Battlestar Colonial Warrior um, in a different colour 
and sort it out when we figure it's another one. We ready to fall over. But so what we're going to do is hope that good old lighter fluid takes the dirt off this fella. So I'm not going to show me doing it all because I think it's going to take forever. But what I will do is try a bit, see if it works. So cotton tips. If you've watched Toy Polo, you know the the drill for cleaning things with light fluid. It's the most versatile stuff always. If you're into toys, modeling anything, get yourself some light fluid. Uh, let's give it a go. This is really ingrained. It's almost like soot or something. I'm hoping it takes it off. Oh, it seems to be. Because you don't want to use anything too hard. Look at the state of that. You don't want to use anything too harsh because it could take the latex paint off. Do, do, do. Okay, so you can see before, after. This is new bold. Um, so I think it's going to come up all right. So I'm going to I'm going to give him a good old going over, and then we can come back. But as you can see, this one still the legs tend to go, but this one's still okay. He can still move. The face is filthy. He do come off. Oh. Shame that's all missing, but when he's got his helmet on, you don't see it. Um, the space pack, I think, allows him. Let me just unwind it. Yeah, so, so what you could do is now I've got a knot in it. So you'd put the cord between two points, and then he could sort of zoom down it and as it moves watch the hypnotic, hypnotic ring um, but it used to have a belt on there 1966 so it's pr well pre-Apollo that would have been what Mercury and then he would wear the jetpack on the back so I'm gonna have to work out some sort of belt to do it but uh, let's see if we can get him clean uh, and hopefully when we come back he won't be missing all his paint well, after lots and lots of uh, cleaning, um, took about three goes over, he's come up really nice and white. So this, none of this is repainted, this is all the original paintwork, so you can see what he was like before. He was filthy, so now he's not perfect. There's still a bit of ingrained, and there's some scrapes here and there. Um, but he's not too bad. He's come up much better than I think uh, he had any right to. Um, I might try and touch up some of his paint. Or I might just leave it as is. Because he's an old fella. You know, he's older than me. He's in better nick. Um, and then what I've done is... I couldn't, couldn't find any other belt. So I've used an old Mego Star Trek belt. Which fits him perfectly. Um, and uh, there's actually like a, a pulley thing in this. I'll show you now. So something I didn't realise was with the jetpack on, um, there's some sort of pulley system in it, so it's not just going up and down. If you pull on one end, he does go up. Let's, uh... And if you let go of it, he comes back down. But the cord stays the same length, which is um, very clever. So yeah, that's a clever little feature. I didn't realise it did that. Yes, so I think he's uh, going to join the ranks very well. Um, I think anyone that had a Major Matt Mason is quite nostalgic for them. I'm going to keep an eye out for some more bits and bobs, but he does tend to keep his price quite a bit. Or, if you see him reasonably priced, they generally in poor condition. Like I say, I think I lucked out on this one that he looked in awful condition. But he's not. He's in good condition. Hello. Very blue eyes. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Let me know if you remember Major Matt Mason, or you used to have some, some of the range. And uh, I'll see you again next time. We have a Patreon if you want to help the channel out. Um, but otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Thanks then. Bye.